it has been too long since I've sat down and been able to make a pocket letter. Life kind of gets in the way of crafting sometimes. Don't you hate it? Anyway, I have this fun Valentine's Day pocket letter and I'm going to jump right into it. So as some of you might know, I usually create two at a time just for speed sake. So everything is pre-cut out and we're just going to assemble it together. Let's get started. So for this pocket letter, all of the papers are coming from this Heidi Swap um, Hello Today paper pack. So I like to use the same paper pad for all of my pockets because it, I don't know, it just keeps it all cohesive and together and it's easier for me to create that way. So I have my pre-cut out cards and then this is a leftover strip of paper. And I have an assortment of uh, sort of Valentine's themed washi tapes that I'm using throughout this entire pocket letter. So I'm just going to take a strip of washi. I want a little added texture here on the side, so I'm going to use this notebook punch. I'm not sure if it's still available. I purchased it a long time ago. Texture and interest without adding bulk. That's what we like, especially when we're mailing stuff. And then I just have a few little Prima flowers and a little pink heart brad. mixed media feel to it. So I'm going to take my punch. when you're pulling it so you don't pull all the way through the card. This is really easy to do. If you do pull all the way through the card, you could put a little piece of washi and repunch your hole and you'd be able to save the card. Hopefully. My sharp scissors help to get a cleaner cut, especially with ribbon that likes to fray. Mine are not really behaving themselves. And that's a cute little thing. It could be used as a bookmark if they don't want to keep it in the pocket letter. Right, so I'm a firm believer in using the positive and the negative. So I had this punched out section and it's so cute. Look, it's little hearts. I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to remove this top white piece with my scissors. So I've got the yellow polka dots, which are fun and festive. I ran out of tape runners, so I'm just using those little glue dot guys. Not as fast, but they'll look just as good. I'm just going to layer it like this. And trim the excess. 
Let's use this cute heart washi. And I have some little a little punched out circle and then this little stamp which I also punched out. Take a pink ink pad. I'm going to ink the edges. It's not quite so plain. And then I'm just going to take a, a blender pen. It's a really old blender pen. I just want to add a little color into the heart. I'm not being super careful. It's messy. I don't care. It's got kind of a shabby look to it anyway. So, right on there. That's going to get added to that. That's all there is to that card. Alright, this is all about the washi. Then I have some of these pieces from Heidi Swap. They are her the embellishments like this. Anyway. Heart right there. And some staples. I love staples. And since this is for Valentine's Day, where would we be without a little bling? So just a little bling. Alright. And the last thing I want to do to this card is I'm going to punch the corners. This is my ticket corner punch. Just adds a little extra detail. If you, you could round the corners. Um, or you could just leave them plain. This adorable little piece of rickrack that's been hanging around my desk for ever. It's finally going to have a home. I'm notorious for saving little bits because I'm always promising myself I can find a use for it. And most of the time the use is just hanging out on my desk. So at my Target dollar spot, they had these cute little stickers, and I'm not usually one for stickers. My kids love them. However, they have this adorable XOXO heart, which will be perfect for layering. So we're just going to add the little heart there. And do you ever get down to the end of your letter stickers and you've got these little pieces and you don't know what to do with them? I like to throw them on my pocket letters. There we go. You paid for them, you might as well use them, right? Exactly. All right, and so I can't help myself. Gonna give this a little cocoa ink around the edges. Totally optional, but I think it it's, makes it less flat. It's a little extra dimension. Look at it's so cute. If you can see through the glare. It is really, really cute. So I went a little nuts at my Target dollar spot and they um, have these really cute little Valentine stickers. My dues. So we are going to take this super cute paper, which would be really cute just to practically by itself. And we're going to keep this one really simple. I'm just going to add a little this little guy down here. And I have this corresponding paper circle already punched out.
we're gonna make a little tab just like that this next one is really really simple just gonna start out with a plain piece of cardstock and ink the edges a little strip of leftover cardstock There. And then I have this little card from Heidi Swap. And I'm actually going to add it at an angle because I think it's more interesting that way. I have a couple of Prima flowers and a silver heart brad. My apologies for my funky looking burn. I got in the fight with a 375 degree sweet potato. I can't say that I recommend it. So I'm going to add this guy right here. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. So fancy. All right. Boom. Done. Down to the last one. Last but not least, I'm going to do some layering. <laughs> Also had these cute little uh, cork embellishments at my Target. How cute is this? The plastic underneath has got little bows and arrows, so I will definitely be using that for something, but not today. So I think I heart you. That's what we're going with. There. Just to make sure it's nice and secure. Add some staples in the pocket. And there you have it. It's my completed Valentine's Day pocket letter. Look at that. Cute. Not too bulky. Uses a lot of leftover pieces. Just need to throw in some embellishments. Write a little letter and it is off to my pocket letter pal. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Please be sure to rate and subscribe. Bye.